We want to bring you some details on a breaking story out of Aurora, Colorado this morning. A very scary situation mm -hmm. a suburban Denver movie theater. Apparently there has been a mass shooting. What we're hearing from the police so far, there are a number of casualties in this matter yes, already. Yes, the Aurora police have confirmed with ABC News 20 injuries, 10 confirmed dead that we know of right now. One suspect has been taken into custody, believes that there's one more suspect that is on the loose. Again, this was at the premiere of The Dark Knight Returns, the new Batman movie that so many folks were lining up to see late last night. But again, a mass shooting at this movie theater outside Denver, Colorado in Aurora. A scary situation here. In case you're waking up, it was the Century 16 movie theater there. Again, this is a suburb of Denver, apparently theaters 8 and 9. This according to Aurora Police here. Again, as you can imagine, this mm -hmm. is a quickly developing uh, story here, so we don't have many of the details just yet. We're waiting for a press release from uh, the police, which we do expect momentarily here. But again, one suspect in custody. Out of, uh, another one may be on the loose. 20 injuries, 10 casualties so far. And this really is a mm -hmm. tragic turn because starting at midnight, really, Eastern time around the country. Thousands of people were lining up for midnight showings of Batman. This was a movie expected to gross $200 million this week, and you can imagine the lines and the anticipation, and apparently it has just turned into this carnage at this movie theater in suburban Denver this morning. Yes, and we have crews on their way to the scene. We will be bringing you the very latest coming up uh, momentarily on Good Morning America, so st make sure you stay tuned to ABC News for the very latest. And Cl Clayton Sandell is actually on the phone right now. Clayton, you're you're there. What can you tell us about what happened in Aurora, Colorado? Good morning, Paul. I'm just uh, pulling up on the scene here. There are just police cars everywhere, as you can imagine. Uh, I drove in from about 10 miles away, and uh, police cars were streaming in from all over the place. Uh, listening to, to reports of uh, witnesses calling into local radio stations, we're hearing a lot uh, that, that seemed to suggest that people were in the theater while the movie was going on and that there was a lot of confusion when the gunfire first broke out. People actually thought that this was part of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, there were multiple theaters here that were showing the film, um, and there are reports that uh, gunfire went from one theater to another and that people were, uh, were injured and hurt in the theater where shooting wasn't even going on but it is a very chaotic and confusing scene out here as you can imagine this uh, incident is not very old uh, but uh, there is just a massive police response that has shown up uh, to this theater this morning. Clay, and Clayton, hold on. Right now, what we're looking at is uh, we were looking at a go with some live video there from the scene. Obviously, it's early in this. We don't want to over speculate. Are you getting a sense or a police on the ground there believing this was obviously some type of coordinated attack? At this point, we, we simply do not know. As you said, it is, it is just too early. Uh, most people are just now arriving here on the scene, uh, so they are, are for sure trying to sort that out at the moment. But uh, at this point, Rob, we, we simply don't know. Clayton, there was one report out there. We want to know if you've been able to confirm that the gunmen basically let off some tear gas, put on their masks, and then basically opened fire with basically semi-automatic weapons. Is there any truth to that report about happened about 30 minutes into the movie? Well, we haven't heard anything uh, official in that regard, but I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, in any situation like this, obviously, there's, there's going to be a lot of confusion and, uh, and chaos inside the theater. Guns uh, themselves obviously give off a lot of smoke, so it's not clear. It's not clear what uh, happened in this theater. Um, that will obviously be part of the investigation. But uh, yeah, again, uh, too early to know. Uh, and uh, details are, are pouring in, obviously, mm -hmm. Facebook and Twitter. You can imagine the rush of, of information, some of it good, some of it may not be too good right now. As, as you said, it's a state of chaos, but paint a little bit of the scene that you're seeing now. You mentioned this massive police presence. Are there still patrons of the movie theater in the area who now police may be questioning, who may have been in the theater and seeing what happened or were ne nearby, or is the, has the crowd been uh, largely dispersed at this point? You know, right, right now the scene that I can describe to you is we, we are, we can see the sign for the movie theater. We're mm -hmm. probably 200 yards away right now. Um, and there is a crowd that has gathered uh, on the other side of the police cordons. There are, uh, oh gosh, at least uh, uh, 20 to 30 police uh, ambulance vehicles that I see. Uh, other law enforcement uh, mm -hmm. vehicles are here. Um, Sheriff, uh, police units from, from all across the, uh, the Denver metro area are starting to arrive. And, and there, are, there are crowds gathered here, mm -hmm. and, of course, and of course a lot of reporters. 
Is there a sense of chaos or are the local authorities that are they keeping the scene kind of under control right now? Well, other than the, the massive response, uh, you know, from where, from where we are, it seems fairly calm. Uh, but again, we don't know if there is still a suspect who is outstanding, somebody that they're looking for. Um, so, you know, there, there may be parts of this that we, we can't see. Uh, obviously, there are, there are helicopters hovering uh, above. Uh, and again, just this, this massive police response, I'm sure, trying to sort it all out. There are a lot of witnesses. A lot of people that were in this movie, obviously a very popular movie, big opening, several theaters, uh, you know, midnight showing. So and Clayton, be a lot of people that they're going to have to track down and talk to. Absolutely. And Clayton, we want to pass on some information that literally we're just getting into the newsroom mm -hmm. now. Apparently they have confirmed now authorities there there was an explosive device used in this incident. Again, 10 are dead, 20 have been injured here. They believe the suspect in this case, who's an adult male, did act alone, uh, not confirmed just yet. They're obviously still taking precautions. They're checking all the cars there in the parking lot, trying to clear the area out as best they can, despite obviously the throngs of police and, and media at this point. Again, there was an explosive device mm -hmm. inside that theater. They're not sure if it was already in place or whether it was simply thrown into that crowd in the theater. Police, though, now are calling this a bomb and saying there were numerous gunshot wounds at this time. And also, importantly, they have recovered the gun uh, used in this uh, incident. And that's, again, breaking details right now just into uh, into ABC here. Yes, and if you are just joining, if you're just joining us, we do want to let everybody know at home what is going on. There's been a mass shooting at a movie theater just outside Denver, Colorado in Aurora. So far we've confirmed ABC News has confirmed with the Aurora Police Department 10 fatalities at least 20 injured uh, a gunman acting alone opening fire in in two movie theaters movie theaters eight and nine at the Batman uh, Dark Knight Returns premiere and obviously as we said we pointed out before this was a huge opening people lined up sometimes hours and hours in advance of this movie so there were huge crowds at, at movie theaters across this country for, uh, for the last several hours here obviously no one could have predicted something like this would happen but Again, they found this explosive device. We heard early reports that a bomb was involved. Apparently, that has been confirmed now by authorities there in Aurora, Colorado. And again, it's important to point out that the suspect uh, at this point is in custody. Could it sounds like it was a, perhaps a lone wolf that he did work alone here. And they're uh, they're not clear just yet as to mm -hmm. whether it was planted in that theater, meaning this was some kind of premeditated act, or whether in fact this was actually thrown into that crowd in there uh, sometime uh, after the movie began. Obviously, in a dark, crowded room. Clayton Sandell, are you still? on the phone with us and i am and, okay. and obviously this this is going to be a a just massive uh, uh response and, and investigation no doubt that uh uh the there is a an fbi task force made up of fbi agents and local officers uh who work this area uh violent crime in this area i'm sure they will be responding this will this will no doubt be a, a very large investigation involving a lot of different agencies, including the FBI. And you are looking at live pictures again. Clayton, can you paint, paint the picture? You said you were you just arrived momentarily on the scene and you were listening to the radio, listening to some uh, some eyewitness accounts of exactly what happened in that theater. Chaos. People weren't sure if what was going on, the shooting was actually part of the movie and the special effects in and of, in and of itself. Right. Obviously, if you're a fan of the Batman movies or seen the trailer, this uh, this film has a lot of uh, shooting and explosions that go on in it. And uh, apparently, according to some witnesses that were being interviewed on local radio here as I was driving in, we're talking about uh, the fact that there was a, a point in the movie where a lot of shooting and explosions were happening. And uh, that is apparently when the shooting and, and explosions or whatever took place here happened, started. Um, and so that uh, obviously created a lot of initial confusion on top of, uh, on top of everything else. Um, right now, this, uh, is this, this very long, wide street in front of the movie theater is uh, starting to just fill up with police vehicles. A mobile uh, crime unit uh, RV-type vehicle just arrived. There are uh, literally dozens and dozens of uh, police 